I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore some discrete sequences. It is a very interesting chapter and we will play with toothpicks to understand it better. So it is all about playing with toothpicks to make different shapes and then the idea is to determine a rule for calculating the number of toothpicks. So you can also play with some toothpicks, make some shapes and figure out how many toothpicks will be required to make the fifth shape of that kind for example right so let's begin by making triangles so let us say we place the toothpicks in this order so we make one triangle and then we place on the side two more to make the next triangle and continue this pattern now this is a discrete pattern because the number of toothpicks are always natural numbers correct so like this we can continue Similarly, we can again, you know, make different kind of a pattern. This time, let's make squares. So you need four toothpicks to make a square and then you can add more to make more squares. So you can have more squares like this. Correct. And then you can repeat this pattern. Now the question here is that if I have this kind of a pattern, how to find the number of toothpicks in uh, with 10 triangles let us say or how to find the number of toothpicks for let us say seventh square that is the question which we need to answer now how can we answer this type of question this is what we are going to explore in unit 7 on sequences and this is to begin with a very simple and interesting sequence which will give us insight to how to find different ways of getting a general term we call and then a specific term using some rules or formulas right that's the whole idea now one of the ways to get to this answer is that we can make a table of values right so we can make a table of values that is one way of doing it we can say well let us write number of triangles here we have the number of triangles and then here we have number of toothpicks right okay so if we have one triangle let us say then the number of toothpicks are one two and three for two triangles we have we already have three two more see it is interesting the way i count it we have three in the first one and then we had two more do you see that so we have five in all and now we have two triangles to make the third triangle we have to add two more so we get five plus two as seven and likewise we can continue correct so what do we observe here let me write four here also and then nine and then let's continue okay so what we observe here is that to get the next triangle we have to add some toothpicks how many that is what we'll figure out so 5 minus 3 gives you extra 2 to get the next triangle 7 minus 5 gives us 2 more to get the next triangle and likewise this pattern you can see can be created right so we can go on the sequence and then find in for making 10th triangle how many are needed correct so we can fill up a table like this and get our answer that is one way of doing it the other way of doing the same question is to get a general formula right general formula we say explicit formula that is to say we find a rule so that immediately as soon as i put 10 for the number of triangles i get my result how to get that explicit rule that is what we will do in this particular video now so we want how many toothpicks are there in the tenth one we see a pattern that we start with three and add two more to get the next one so we let us write down the number of toothpicks for triangle one it is three for two it is five then seven nine and so on and let me write down the number of triangles on the top of these numbers now it really means that number of toothpicks 
for one triangle is 3. We say that is T1. T2 is number of toothpicks required for two triangles. Similarly, T4 is number of toothpicks for four triangles. Correct? So that is the nomenclature which we are using. So T10 really means for making 10 triangles of this kind, how many toothpicks are required? So that is what the question is. Correct? I hope it's absolutely clear to you. Now, how to get this formula? To get this formula, what we notice is that every time we need two more, right? That means times two is critical to make a formula or a rule for this particular case. Now, let's look back into it. If I do two times one, I get what? Two times one is two. How do I get three? Well, I get three by adding one. So I get two times one plus one to get three. How about five? 5, I get 2 times 2 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Correct. How do I get the third term? I get third term by multiplying 2 by 3 plus 1. Likewise, if I want to get the nth term, that is, if I want the formula for Tn, what should it be? Now, this number is n. In that case, it should be 2 times n plus 1, right? So, 2 times n plus 1. Do you get it? So that is how you can get your formula. So when we are multiplying by a number and adding 1 and that number is the number of triangles for us, right? So when we say how many toothpicks are required for making 10 triangles, we can substitute 10 here, right? So T10 will be 2 times 10 plus 1 and that is 20 plus 1, 21. You get an idea. So that is how you can develop and get your solution. And that is very interesting, right? This problem may look simple, but it gives you a very good concept of what we are going to do in this unit. Now let's have the second solution for the second problem. So we could do either of these methods. So what we say is, this is square number one. In square one, how many toothpicks are there? So let me write the numbers first, uh, like we wrote here. So we write number of squares as 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Correct. Now in square number 1, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 toothpicks. For square number 2, or to get 2 squares, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, right? And then we have 3 more, right? 3 more gives us 10. And then again, 3 more. So the sequence which we see is every time when you want to add a square, you have to actually get three more toothpicks, right? Seven minus four is three, right? That is what we see. Similarly, 10 minus seven is three and uh, 13 minus 10 is also three. So number three is very critical to get our general formula, right? So based on what we learned, now we can say Tn, the general formula is 3 times n uh, plus something. We don't know what. How do we get that number? Let's experiment. 3 times 1 is how much? 3 times 1 is 3 and this is 4. So I should add 1. Do you see that? Let's try whether it works for the others or not. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, 7, right? 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1. So you indeed get, and so we can say, what is T10? T10 should be 3 times 10 plus 1, and that means 31. So you need 31 toothpicks to get to this answer, right? Now, I will give you an alternate way of looking into this formula from your toothpicks itself. It is to say, now we are going backwards, trying to understand what we did. And we are looking at it from a different angle this time. So the angle here is that how can you make these triangles? We have one here and then what do you do is you add two more. Do you see that? So you had one, you added two more to get one triangle. So what I am trying to do is I am relating the triangle number with the numbers in the toothpicks, right? So I say, well, for 
for the first triangle I already have one I have added two more correct now for getting each and every triangle extra triangle I have to just add a set of twos do you see a set of twos and then another set of twos correct so n times set of twos that is how we get two times n starting with one do you get the idea starting with one here also you start with one and then add one two three do you see that add one two three this time one two three this time one two three so three each time that is three n starting with one so that is another way of looking into this and getting to the formula very quickly. I hope this strategy helps you to find rules and, and formulas in coming up examples. Thank you and all the best.